welcome back to my channel for another video so guys a little bit change um i'm in my office now you guys know that i have a natural hair care brand natural is divine um link will be down in the bio if you guys want to support the brand so in today's video we're going to talk about hair porosity and why is porosity important for you as a natural hair person before we head into the video if you have not already subscribed please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also the post notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a video and if you have not already checked out the website guys go ahead and check the website out because on that website it's all herbal products you guys know I do a lot of DIYs on here using fenugreek using um, slippery M using a lot of different type of herbs apple cider vinegar neem moringa all these herbs are in those products so go ahead and check that website out down below naturalist divine and see if there's something else that you like so let's get into the video when we're talking about hair porosity we need to know the how to deal with each porosity that we have so it is important to know your porosity because the porosity of your hair it will determine how to maintain your hair if you do not know your porosity you could be doing your hair wrong you could be missing out on time you could be missing out on length retention you could miss it out on moisture you could be missing out on a lot of things when it comes to maintaining a healthy head of hair so first of all what are the three different types of porosity the three different types are of porosity are high porosity low porosity and medium porosity low medium and high porosity we're going to talk about low porosity now first of all before we talk about the different type of porosity let's talk about what is porosity porosity and it's on its own what is it so porosity is the hair ability your hair ability to maintain moisture absorb moisture and products and retaining them into the hair so it is your hair ability to absorb moisture and product into the hair and to retain them in the hair so it depends on a different type of porosity it will tell how easy it is to retain the moisture to absorb the moisture and to retain the moisture so the first porosity we're going to go in and talk about is low porosity and when it comes to porosity guys it porosity have to deals with um, the cuticle layer of your hair so how tightly spaced these cuticle layers are this determine your porosity so for low porosity and when we're talking about cuticle layer cuticle the cuticle layer is the outer layer of the hair so it is the first layer on the hair strand that's the cuticle layer and for the term and based on your porosity it is either open wide close a little bit or close very tightly so for low porosity here and when you're thinking about cuticle layer I want you to picture the shingles on a rooftop how very tightly spaced these shingles are how wide the space they are it determines the porosity so if the shingles are very very tight right that is low porosity the cuticle layers are so overlapping each other so tightly that nothing can go in without you trying to open that cuticle right it's like a brand new roof so you want to make sure that that cuticle layer is open when you are adding your products to the hair so how do you open your low porosity hair cuticle 
layer. One of the way you're gonna open your cuticle layer is by adding heat to the hair. That is one of the most effective way to open the cuticle is adding heat. So when you're in low porosity hair and you're deep conditioning your hair, you need to add heat so that the product, so that the heat can open the cuticle so the products can go in through past the cuticle and go inside the hair itself, the hair strand itself. It is very important to deep condition your hair with heat to open the cuticle layer so you can get the moisture of the product and the product to be absorbed inside of the hair strand. Without doing that, the product is only going to sit on top of the hair strand you're not going to get the moisture that your hair deserve and the product is just going to be washed off your hair strand without getting the necessary nutrients into your hair. We don't want that. So for low porosity hair, you need to deep condition at least 30 to 45 minutes with heat. So medium porosity hair, let's get into it. But before we get into it, I need to put something on my lip. So for medium porosity here, it's when the cuticle layer is a little bit open. So it's a little open, not as much. It's a little bit open. So the product can go in, but if you want it to open more, you have to add heat, heat to your hair, not heat, heat. So you're going to add some heat to your hair if you want your cuticle layer to open more when you're medium porosity. So this porosity is basically the best of both worlds. The product is not hard to go inside of the hair because the cuticle have some space. A little bit of space is there so the product can go in and there's a little bit of space so the product won't be able to go out. It's not as open as wide where the moisture is not going to retain. So the moisture will retain for a longer period as well because the cuticle layer is not spaced out enough. So the moisture is going to like get out as it goes in. So how are you going to take care of this porosity to keep the moisture in the hair is making sure that you're at least deep conditioning your hair with heat for at least 30 minutes tops to open the cuticle layer some more so that the, the amount of moisture and product can get into the hair and do its job right this hair type this hair um porosity you don't really need as much maintenance as your high porosity but you need to maintain it to maintain the moisture as well if you neglect it because you said you have medium porosity you are going to lose out on a lot of length retention and moisture retention so you still need to go in refresh the hair um, seal with an oil or a butter so that you can maintain the moisture in this type of porosity so let's talk about the final porosity which is high porosity and high porosity is my type of porosity and I have some most part of my hair I have high porosity so with high porosity guys the cuticle layer is open right the cuticle layer is not tight to the close it's not a little bit space it's open right so the product have no issue going into the hair strong the product can just go whoops right into the hair strand but you can also add heat but you want to limit the amount of heat that you add by 15 minutes 20 minutes tops and the heat is also going to help to marinate the product into the strands of the hair so there's no harm with adding heat for 15 to 20 minutes you don't really need to go over that for the product to work in the hair because it is easily absorbed in the hair and it will easily work its way into the roots of the hair to the roots of the hair so how with high porosity though you want to close your cuticle because even though the cuticles are spaced open they remained open for a long time and you don't want that high porosity you need to close your cuticle 
so that you can basically maintain that moisture in the hair so one way you can close your cuticle is by using heavy oil or butters and what these heavy oils and butters are going to do is flatten the cuticle flatten the top layer of the straw so that you can have um, more moisture in and less moisture go out so you're like flattening down the layer with the heavy oils or butter if that does not work apple cider vinegar is very good to like change the pH on the hair and when you change the pH it's going to flatten those cuticles and help with the um, retaining the moisture for a very long time so let me know guys if you have any questions what is your hair porosity down below so that we can have some conversation on how to maintain that particular porosity thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video was super helpful to you guys and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys